Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I really want to talk about this. <laughs> I'm don't. Sometimes Sky. What? I don't know, man. She just like comes up with these things and just starts talking like a weirdo. I'm progressive. Like, but then you're not, though. But mm-hmm. I am. You're not at all. I feel like, you know, she's gone through some stuff, obviously, right. the last couple, last week. It's right. heavy. So she's just like trying. She's looking for something. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. looking for something. But, so like, I, res- I get it. I get it. But she'll say these things like, oh, yeah, now I'm going to be a vegan or I'm going to yeah, do that's this. Where mm-hmm. she needs to and it doesn't ever stick. So why does she say these yeah. things? Wait until you hear the latest life thing that Sky is going to be into. Done yet? It's time for the P1 podcast. Fun's not over yet. Completely uncensored and unfucking filtered, except for that part. Looking for the after party with no The show's after show starts now. Yeah, Sky's a talker, not a doer. <laughs> Excuse me. I am a talker and a partial doer. <laughs> That's not okay, but then you sometimes will okay. do the opposite of what you're saying. That is true. Mm-hmm. But I will do part of what I am saying. And some <laughs> is better than none. I hate that. That's a terrible outlook, honestly. It really is. Or what? I don't think so. Yes, like either you are it or you're not. Like Thor used to always get on me for my juicing thing because I would talk about how yeah. I love juicing. Juicing is great. Juicing. But then he'd see me eat Taco Bell. And it's like, well, it's better for me to have a green juice with my Taco Bell than no green juice with but my Taco Bell. But if I go, Bell. okay, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> and okay. you go, no, you're not, Eddie. I saw you eat meat. No, right. the other night, I I eat just vegetable. I eat a salad, so yeah. I'm vegetarian. That's but now good. I eat meat. So Eddie, at least it's you know, at least, par- at least I'm partially vegetarian. Oh, meatless <laughs> Monday. Yeah, that's great. That's a trend too. Meatless Monday. One day be vegetarian is better than no days being vegetarian. That's, so you're that not is a great. vegetarian. It, yeah. you're, for one but day you, you are. But you talk yeah. like you are a vegetarian. Well, I want to. And you want to learn more, and you yes. want to. Yes. And you do this, but yes. you're not. And you never will be. <laughs> like right now, I'm. Meatless Monday. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. Right now, <laughs> right now, I'm like 92% vegetarian. That's not a thing. It sure if the fuck you is. If you add meat, then you're not a vegetarian. You know, 92%. Person. Eddie, I smoke crack on Sunday. Oh, I'm sober on Tuesday. Um, oh, God. Yeah, cra- crack so Sunday. you're sober because yeah. you didn't smoke crack today. Right. Exactly. No, but you're gonna smoke crack yeah. tomorrow. But smoke crack I live a sober but life, except on Sunday. No, except he, on Sunday. no he's like eighty <laughs> percent sober. Wait, that's not. Wait, that's what? not a thing. <laughs> okay, okay. That's not a thing. He's working on it. All right. All right. Oh, man. What, what is the newest trend that you are looking into that you want to do? Well, so this started, uh, you know, because Thor was talking about how, like, you know, I'm I'm looking for something right now. But this actually started before my dad passed away a week oh, ago. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You just kept it quiet. Well, no, I told you guys I wanted to start, like, doing audio books or I started to want to, oh, like. Oh, yeah. Remember? You want to learn stuff. I wanted to learn stuff. I remember that. Stuff. I remember the like, audio book combo. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, I love music. You want to listen to podcasts. Yes. But yeah. then. Uh, you know about yeah. about learning a trade or something yeah. like that, yeah. mm-hmm. and then you ended up just listening to music instead. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's so, what happened. Well, I couldn't find what I was looking. Yeah, for. Yeah, and you were walking around wearing headphones. Uh, yeah, that yes. I remember. Remember, right. I was yeah. I was in okay. tiny headphones. Tiny. No, Are they really tiny they're, headphones. They're, no, they're normal like size Barbie headphones. headphones. They're yeah, normal, mm-hmm. normal, normal. She has to wear like a headgear to keep them in the ears. <laughs> okay, that's like for not the babies. True. Yeah. That is so not true. So, um, so I've still been looking. You guys, the hunt wasn't over. I was talking about. I don't know. I wanted to learn something i want to be inspired just be by like something like all basic bitches and listen to true crime podcast i don't there like true go. crime it's too violent right. it scares me i'm yeah. paranoid the fuck enough Man, you're a puss i uh, thank you my that fiance so um <laughs> oh no she's a big true crime podcast, oh, yeah. she loves obviously. It. obviously yeah and i'm going through some legal stuff right now mm-hmm. and she dropped on me you don't think they're going to falsify the documents right <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Oh boy! Is she Bravo. out of it? What Somebody's the fuck? a little too deep. In what the fuck? I love that, Haley. What the yes, fuck? Yeah. That's great. So, oh, so I've kind of been looking around, and you know, like in your Facebook feed, you just get these random, like, promoted posts, and you're like, okay, mm-hmm. whatever. Somebody was talking about that somewhere. Yeah. 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 So it's nothing in I ever. Room. I never. Mm-hmm. Nothing I ever followed or subscribed to, but all of a sudden, here you are in my feed. Right. And I started liking what I was reading, and so I was like, well, I will follow this person i do want to see this in Gullible, my feed are you? 
I, I, I was into it. It's not, you know, it's what not like, it? oh, you're a Nigerian prince, send me money. You know, that's gullible. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this inspired me, and oh. I liked it. And then I decided I want to start listening to audio from this person through their YouTube channel about becoming a minimalist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're laughing at that. I don't know why we find that funny. I live in a mansion in La Jolla. I I don't don't live in a mansion. I only have seven servants. I don't live in a mansion. Minimalist. I don't live in a mansion. Yes, uh, Um, only five car fleet. Five. That's it. That's how will we do it? I don't know. You're getting rid of five. Yes, please. No more private jet, just the chopper. Right. I don't have a jet. I don't have a chopper. And the jet will be there just in case. But, you know, the pilot won't be on call. Just one chef and a sous chef, and that's it. That's it. I don't have any of Two persons in the kitchen? <laughs> minimalist! I don't have any of those The things. fuck you talking about? <laughs> Scott, oh, you're minimalist. Yeah. You're looking into adding to your property. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Like how right. that's the a minimal isn't a minimalist somebody that lives in like a tiny home like you have barely, bar- barely anything, anything yeah, and like travels. Sky has two properties. That's not a joke. So that's you're gonna get rid of one. You're gonna get rid of one? That's not what a minimalist is. What are you talking what? about? Minim- it's living the minimalist lifestyle. As yeah. little as possible. Less you, is more. Yeah, you don't have excess of shit. You know what I mean? Which you have a pool. That's I have one pool. I don't have a pool. I, know, I don't. But I mean, that's that's, <laughs> that's crazy. I think no, minimalist is somebody that like lives pool? lives in like you know lives in a, such uh, a off very, the land. Yeah, off the land. Mm-hmm. Very, and they they want to do on hikes and they want to travel and mm-hmm. they basically live off of like a couple thousand dollars yeah, because bar- they can do it. Bar- bar- stereotypes. Like I have a chair, a chair. Yeah. No. Like I don't no. need a couch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a minimalist. Yeah. No, TV? Fuck it. Forget yeah. it. No, no phone. Yeah. No phone. That's a minimalist. Okay, no, you guys don't know what a minimalist is. Oh, we don't know oh. what it is. Please explain. Yeah, Do tell. I, well, I listened Tony to Robbins. two hours worth of YouTube videos yesterday. What? Two what? hours? Well, I had to drive to Kohl's to return something which I don't use or need. Oh. <laughs> or maybe I just bought the wrong size. Okay. Um, and, <laughs> so I listened there, and then I had to drive to pick up my daughter, Listen there, got there early, decided to go for a little walk around the bay, put my earphones in. Uh, Sorry. Sky, you're not better than us. Kept mm-hmm. listening. Kept you're listening. not better than us. I'm not saying I'm better. You, yes, if you, you are. feel, you're if saying you, it. Yes, you if are. you feel mm-hmm. I'm better uh-huh. than you, then that's a you oh, problem, okay. not a All me right. problem. Okay. But, but okay. uh, so yeah, it's just about getting rid of your extra crap and not spending money on shit you don't need. It's be- you already do that. Yeah, you, you don't buy new clothes. You just fucking right. live in the clothes that you've had for yeah, twenty I mean, years. So on. right now I'm like a ten percent minimalist, oh, okay. but I'm looking to you're gonna hmm. you're gonna get worse fucking clothes. <laughs> no way, dude. No uh, way. No, I'm not Sky. gonna get. Uh, I'm not gonna get worse <laughs> it's clothes. It's just gonna be the same two shirts. <laughs> oh, yes. We already see. Yeah, we, yes. We've already we see that pretty much. Well, mm-hmm. that's the fucking point. So I wear the same five outfits every day, but yeah. I have a closet filled with clothes okay yeah okay. i'm fine with that you so know? why am i having a closet filled with clothes when i only wear five outfits? what else just keep the five out what else is gonna yeah uh why do i have a dozen aprons in my kitchen i don't know that I is don't weird even that's cook. actually really fucking do you weird even, do you even, even wear, wear an apron when you cook no yeah, yeah. so that's weird yeah, yeah. like wh- like basically why do i, I have 90 percent of the shit that's in my i kitchen? don't, I don't think... know if it's 90 percent yeah. Okay, I can keep the plates. I can keep the glasses, right. the silverware. silverware. But, you need a mixing bowl or something? Yeah, like do yeah. I need two juicers? Yeah. Do I need two cheese graters? Do I need eight big Why stirring spoons? I only have one cheese I have grater. One, and I, I do a lot of yeah, cooking. One, oh, you know, blender. One. I don't, what? I don't think. <laughs> see, I, I like it. Here's, I like here's it, guys. what's annoying. Here's what's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. That, you're not being a minimalist. You're just getting rid of shit you don't use. Right. right. That's but, what every but, normal but person does. It's a cool term that I'm a minimalist, man. I got rid of my second cheese grater. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to do in the first place? Yeah. You're so just weird. a weirdo. Like, yeah, that you're really saying weird. things that everyone cleans <laughs> out. Really like, a, you're doing oh. things like a spring cleaning does. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Doesn't mean you're a minimalist. I don't know. Totally. Yeah. 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 So I got rid of four blenders. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Have like a clear. <laughs> yeah. Why do you have fucking six blenders? I don't have that many. Are you weirdo? Yeah. I got rid of the three pool floaties we had. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. They probably have eighteen. Oh, Oh, hundred percent. I mean, I cleaned my closet out a month ago. Oh, look at the minimalist. I'm a minimalist. Holy shit. Good job, Emily. No. Uh, oh my god. You're not cool enough. Oh, You're no. not cool enough. What the fuck? Yeah, I clean 
cleaned out my closet a few months ago too and donated like four bags of shit. And guess what? I still got a closet full of shit. I don't. Yeah, that's because you're it. loaded though. No, it's not. <laughs> so, her, her walk-in is as big as your house. Yeah, a million I was gonna percent. Say. No, no, that's not a million percent. I have an acre, and this guy's walking. <laughs> that. that is not true. She has to take a golf cart around the fucking closet. Like a good example they gave yesterday. Oh, please tell. If you have a coffee table in your living room, mm-hmm. why do you have a side table? What do you put? I don't. What, what? Am I a minimalist? Fucking, you're amazing. I'm a bro. minimalist. Well, here's why. I, here's why I have a side table because if I'm sitting at the side table, my coffee. I want to put a drink on. Yeah, or something. but you have a coffee table. Or maybe you have table. a lamp there. But I, I, I have a lamp, have a lamp on my there, side table. I have a coffee table. You could have I have a standing lamp. But maybe I don't want to. I don't want to move the coffee table. Yeah, side table. Maybe I keep my coasters over there so they're not on the table. Well, you can keep them in the middle. We don't need side tables. Side tables are bullshit. But then you said get a standing lamp. Honestly, I fucking hate that example. Man. That was harsh. You're, you're not selling this, guy. I'm not no. selling you. That's, you a terrible, example? that's a terrible you example. example. Uh, Honestly, that's a terrible example. Books. Why do we keep books? I know we're emotionally attached to them, but you're never going to fucking read them again. Why, okay. do, why do we keep uh, stacks and stacks I'll, I'll of books? Be, I'll be honest with you. My, my little geeky library that I have yeah. is because I think it looks cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I think books on the shelf look cool. But it doesn't, like, I don't feel like it's in the way of anybody. Oh, yeah. See, I have, like, 20 red Nora Roberts novels that I don't want to part with because I feel attached <laughs> to them for some reason. Did she just say <laughs> what I think she said? What? I have 20 Nora Roberts no- <laughs> what what like, Honestly, literally. are you my mom? I literally are you my mom? busted out laughing just now. Well, mother? I love reading them in the back. <laughs> I mean, I love them, but why, but why do I keep them? I don't know. And then I go in my office and I have nowhere my to push it. My mom has 20 Roberts. <laughs> Red, by the way, yeah. twenty red. Right. Nora yeah. Roberts. My, my mom. <laughs> she had to throw that in there. Gives them to her her friends, her other old right. lady oh. friends. Oh, right. And they like switch out. And I have a stack Ew. of five <laughs> that one. Of, I have a stack of five that one of my friends has given me that I haven't read. So I I I, I, I don't need books. I don't need books. Nora Roberts. You can't get over this. Why does that make you laugh? I don't like you. You're reading a fucking football book right now. Don't you judge what I'm reading. Don't you think that's a little different I mean, no like, really? that's like little boys read football books right, right? little right? boys it's like where you got your son's mario book that's where they sell the football books so. no I okay so. i don't know i don't know you i don't, don't read that shit. I, I don't read that shit yeah. so um so i was inspired mm, and um what are you gonna do well so i had to have a talk with my daughter because why? well because i'm i'm about to implement some change bro well why can't you do it why does she have to do well it? i wanted to let her know what she's going to be seeing going on around our oh house. God, this, wow. Sky, you're so not I, even going to do this, whatever it is you're you going to do. Know, yes, you I, know, I, you know, know you. I know you. She's graders. You talk bullshit. <laughs> you want an apron? Anybody need an apron? No, I, I actually don't. do. Oh, okay. Uh, and I'll, actually, I'll actually take anything you get rid of, to be uh, honest. Oh, no, no, so. no, no, that's not minimalist lifestyle. <laughs> oh, no. Maximus. Maximus. Yes, you're minimalist. a total maximist. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Does the $300 tanning machine that I bought say that? Oh, God. Or, oh. You're just a hoarder. Yeah, that is true. So I wanted to let my daughter know. So I asked her, I said, do you know what a minimalist is? What are you oh my talking God. about? And I could tell she didn't want to. Eleven. She didn't want to talk about it, so she's like, "Yeah, I think so." Just because she wanted me to shut up, yeah, you know we what all I feel mean? That way. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's not nice. That's true, though. But just like with you guys, I decided to keep talking anyway oh. and uh, explain to her, you know, okay, well, I just want to let you know you're going to see me start going through like tons of cupboards and closets. Did she and- say you're going to get rid of all those Nora Roberts books? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's so funny. What do you mean, Mom? Funny. Don't get rid of our second cheese grater. <laughs> I don't know why. We need that shit. I don't know why. So I wanted oh. to let her know what I would be doing. And if she feels inspired, you know, I know her closet's overflowing. She has like the desk drawers where you literally like have to jam shit in and, and slam it closed because nothing will close because everything's overflowing with crap and so I was like I think this would be great for you too Mother you're not going to get rid of Antonio or uh, <laughs> curtain opener are you? A curtain opener Okay really Antonio He also closes Okay He does both Okay really yes, right. You would think we need both an no, opener I'm... and a closer but Antonio's great I don't have one. Please don't get rid of him I've okay. grown fond of him Okay No no she didn't say anything like that uh, So I I asked her if she would be into it, too. What about too. Blaine, our dog petter? <laughs> Blaine. A dog petter. <laughs> petter. I don't, we don't have a dog petter. Oh, Blaine. He needs the work. Yeah. <laughs> Something like this. He needs the six-figure salary, Bob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to talk her into it. Like, oh how, how awesome would that feel if you could just open your closet and, like, put something in there? <laughs> Not you know? one child on earth is going to say, yeah, mom. Yeah. 
That's Mommy, a- are you getting rid of Garrett the catwalker? <laughs> we don't even have a cat. Okay, <laughs> like, stupid ass. Not Garrett. Okay, really? And uh, that's what about what- Winston, your Nora Roberts page turner? <laughs> I don't have a page turner. Okay. The way he licks his fingers when he turns the pages is uncanny. <laughs> really? Winston, turn the page. And that would be gross. And that would be gross. I, w- I wouldn't care for that. Uh, so I explained to her what's going on, asked her if she was in, and uh, <laughs> and she gave me a quick no. Uh, like, not even, I'm not even going to think about well, it. No, I'm just going to stare you in the face. Why is this be- surprising to you? Oh, God, she's such, she's a fucking hoarder, shopper. I mean, she's, she's like Emily. Okay, like, oh, really? anything she can get. Oh, you take that chick to a garage sale? She wants everything. It's probably why we have two cheese graters. Oh, our, she's just a normal kid. She probably wanted kid. one when she was like three or something. <laughs> That's dangerous. Yeah, I know. I know. But you know, I used to let her play with like rocks and Tupperware and crap. So. Yeah. Uh, so this is my plan that I am going to start this weekend going cabinet by cabinet and legit, like, I can't even tell you how much shit I plan to get rid of. Like, it's going to be crazy. But for what is, what is this going to do for you? It's going to make me feel good. Oh, really? Yeah. Because like right now when I go in my kitchen and I have to, you know, stack glasses because I don't have room, but then I have 10 cabinets full of shit I don't use. That's frustrating. That's like kind of induces anxiety. Like I don't, I don't want that. I want to be able to have like clear open cupboards because why am I keeping crap I'm not using? Why am I doing that? Man, you are progressive. And then Man, when I stop buying it? crap I don't need, oh, the amount of money I'm going to save. You order out, out food every, every day. single really night. I buy lunch point. every yeah. day. Like, what a really are you great talking point. about? So that is a great point. Maybe cut out that. That's a great mm-hmm. point, and that is part of the minimalist lifestyle. So? Uh, the the gal I was listening to yesterday was oh, telling me that you know you gotta you gotta be smarter about the food you buy nice. and actually use it. Oh, and cool. Mm-hmm. Unemployment rate is gonna skyrocket yeah. and sky fires everybody that, right? that works yeah. for it. Are you gonna do it? That's further on the list. Okay. Step See, one is cleaning is out the cabinet. Wow. You're doing this great oh, cleaning. That's step it. That's all I'm you're a, doing. You're I'm calling a, yourself a minimalist. I'm a minimalist. No, you're not. Yes, I am. 